Hey everybody, I want to make a really quick video here. In previous videos, I talked about creating some TextMatch Pro um, elements in scene here. Usually they live on a canvas and usually there's something that kind of moves with the camera. In this case here, I have a 3D kind of game, not kind of game, I have a 3D world here. I guess it is kind of a game, but it's technically a game, but regardless. Um, I have a 3D world here and I want to have some text in that world that kind of move, it kind of stays put. And as I move the character around here, it would stay put within the game world. It's a 3D object. So it's super simple to do here. I'm going to go to the hierarchy. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go to 3D object, text, text mesh pro. And I'm going to have to import TMP essentials. And you can see that we have something in the game world from here. And let's see if we can move this around just a little bit here. All right, move that up just a little bit there. Change it to be like, you know, welcome. It's like that. And just like any other text mesh pro object, I could change different things about this from here. I could do an outline if I wanted to, make that a little thicker. Right, very simple from there. And we can see it once I close this out here, if I go back to the game, I was moving my camera around a little bit before the uh, the video started. If we had a, a player with a camera attached to it, this is kind of something within the game world. It kind of stays put. It's an element within the game world. And of course, you could attach it to a script. You could attach it to another object if you wanted to. But now it's something that's kind of 3D, kind of alive, and not something that lives just on top of the um, the screen there. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.